I'd like to say great day to the viewing audience. Welcome to Walking in the Spirit. I am Dr. Stefan Williams and I will be a host for today's program. We're going to continue on with our series entitled Tabernacle Pattern Compared to the Physical Body. And those of you that are viewing this broadcast today, I would like for you to get out your Bibles, your notebooks, your pens, your pencils, your highlighters, and study with us. Let's continue on with the series. It says, however, at the superincorporeal Elohim and the intangible tabernacle are one and the same. So is the temple, which is here, and tabernacle which is here, the same. If therefore the man is a physical tabernacle, get here, once again, if therefore the man is a physical tabernacle, it says here tabernacle of man, man made in the image of Elohim by the pattern of the tabernacle. Tabernacle pattern, tabernacle of man, man by the pattern. So once again, if therefore the man is a physical tabernacle, he is also a physical temple. I'm just going to go right here. He is also a physical temple. Once again, man is also a physical temple. Okay? It just takes the physical to point to the spirit or the spiritual. Okay? Just keep it here. You have it here. Once again, so after the Israelites have built the physical tabernacle, which is here, the wolf of Sinai here, and have followed it around and finally came to Canaan's land, which is here. It says here Canaan's land, or promised land, or you can also say Jerusalem beneath, okay, or earthly Jerusalem, okay? Make sure it's all in there. Once again, so after the Israelites had built the physical tabernacle, had followed it around, and finally came to Canaan's land, let's see, they had to build a more glorious edifice, or building known as Solomon's Temple, which they constructed in Mount Moriah. Excuse me. I apologize, I had a reverse. This, it says here, temple. And this here was the tabernacle, okay? I apologize for, for that, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, so after Israelite had built the physical tabernacle, and had followed around, and finally came to Canaan's land, you see, they had to build a more glorious edifice or building, or building known as Solomon's Temple, which, were, which they constructed in Mount Moriah. 
which simply says here, Mount Moriah here. Okay. The pattern of this temple was given to David in a vision by Elohim, by Elohim, passing his hand over David's physical body. So back here, he's using this pictorial illustration as David's physical body. Once again, the pattern of this temple was given to David in a vision by Elohim passing his hand over David's physical body and showing him how to build the temple okay, by his own physical anatomy and physiology. David wrote about thus, thusly, all this said David, Elohim made me understand in writing by his hand upon me even all the works of this pattern. Okay? So back up there where you just that. So we understand that David had a divine vision of Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. Okay? And we understand that David was given this was given instructions or shown a, 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 a divine vision of his temple, but David was not able to build a temple. Why? Because David was a man of war and David had blood on his hands. So he passed the uh, uh, um, instructions or the pattern on to his son Solomon. Okay? So once again, the pattern of this temple here was given to David in a vision see, by Elohim or Yahweh him Yahshua, passing his hand over David's physical body and showing him how to build the temple by his own physical anatomy and physiology. David wrote about this thusly. All this said David, Elohim made me understand in writing by his hand upon me even all the works of this pattern. Okay. Did you get here? Did you get this old chart here? Talk about the side this side. We're missing. I need a red reader, please. First Chronicles, the twenty-eighth chapter, and verse nineteen. Now I'm going to be using this tabernacle pattern um, as a pictorial illustration, as though it was the temple. Okay. All right. Go ahead and read, please. First Chronicles 28 and 19 from the Holy Name Bible. All this, said David, Yahweh made me understand in writing by his hand upon me even all the works of this pattern. Thank you. Because it says here, man made in the image of Elohim by the pattern. Okay? All right? Yes. I'm get up, get back up there. Why is that? Because simply, Elohim is the archetype original or the original architect, see, of the whole entire universe. See, once again, he is the original or the Elohim is the archetype original architect, see, pattern of the entire universe. Okay? Thank you, reader. Be able to see all of this. Get close to you can. All right. Elohim, see, the immortal king in heavenly Jerusalem. See, it says here, Jerusalem above or the heavenly Jerusalem. See, you have Jerusalem beneath, see, which is allegorical, see, to Jerusalem or the heavenly Jerusalem above, see. Elohim, the immortal king in heavenly Jerusalem, see, just lay his supreme corporeal body, see, over David's physical body. Now I'm going to use this tabernacle here, which is a replica of the intangible tabernacle. This is simply a tabernacle that was intangible, see. 
This is a this was the replica. I'm just going to just simply use this tabernacle, see, as David's physical body. Okay. All right. Now you can go right here. The same. What I've got to point out there on, on, on the other chart I just left. The same, it's the same tabernacle pattern here. I'm just going to use this as David's physical body as I'm speaking at this point. Okay? Now, as I, from this tabernacle pattern here, I'm going to show you the one that was pitched the world aside and the same one here. Now I'm going to simply, because, get, get back here, I'm sorry, get back here. So it says here, man made in the image of Elohim by the pattern of the tabernacle. See? Pattern, tabernacle, ta tabernacle, pattern. Okay? Alright? So back there. So I'm going to use this tabernacle pattern to give a, 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 a pictorial illustration. Okay? The explanation of what I'm about to uh, read. So you'll be able to see it more clear. See, Elohim. The immortal king in heaven, Jerusalem, just laid his superincorporeal body over David's physical body. Once again, I'm using this tabernacle as David's physical body. David being king in earthly Jerusalem, see, in a vision, in a vision, see, it says a panoramic vision of Elohim, the same panoramic vision of uh, uh, to Elohim of Mo to, to, to Moses of Elohim, the same panoramic vision was given to David. Okay? So once again, in a vision and made him to know how to build the temple, see, which specification he passed on to his son, Solomon, who built the temple. I just said that about a minute ago. Okay? After the temple, was constructed. Then the weather-beaten tabernacle, which is here, which they pitched up here, Mount Zion. Then the weather-beaten tabernacle was stood out on Mount Zion, which is here. See, was was dismantled and all the furnishings. See, all the furnishings. See, were moved. All the first from the tabernacle was moved into the temple, see? Just as Moses had seen it drawn out of the temple in his vision, see? Okay? And you can get down here. So it said that the furnishings that was in the Mosaic Tabernacle said like that, which was weather beaten, was stood on Mount Zion, see, was dismantled in all the furnishings, see. So what was the furnishings, see? The Ark of the Covenant, see? Two archangels in the Ark of the Covenant, okay? A three in one configuration. Okay? Then, then you have the altar of incense, the seven branch lampstand, and the table of shoe bread. Okay? You have the cup of holy anointing oil, the brazen laver, and the brazen altar of sin sacrifice. Okay? Was simply move, moved, the furniture, furniture was moved into the temple. Okay? So you correlate the tabernacle patch to the man's physical body. Okay? So man has a right and left hemisphere. Hemisphere or hemisphere. Hemisphere who? Hemisphere, Yahweh Elohim Yahshua, not up in the sky. Him is here within you. Okay? So you have a right and left hemisphere. You have two eyes here that see as one. Okay? Three and one here, then you come on down. See, three and one here, it's like three and one here, then you come on down. You have your lungs, okay? 
Let's liken them to the altar of incense, which has four main ingredients in here. And quite naturally, man breathes uh, four uh, uh, main ingredients, okay? Well, I'm going to get into that right now, give the, give the names to it. But just correlating, okay? Altar incense, lungs. You have the seven branch lampstand here, likened to the seven uh, branch aorta within man. You have the table of shoe bread with 12 cakes all together, okay? Six on one side, six on the other. Like unto the heart, which pumps 12 pints of blood, okay? And then you have the holy cup of, the holy cup of holy anointing oil, see? Then you have what's called on top of the kidneys, a drilling gland, like unto a quickening, or like unto the Holy Spirit, okay? And then you have brazen labor like unto your kidneys, okay? And bladder, okay? And then here you have the brazen altar of sin sacrifice, okay? You get four horns on the corner. We did to put an a, a, a animal sacrifice on, on, on this brazen altar of sin sacrifice in their stead. Okay. The man has intestines, large and small intestines. That's four pockets of blood, and it burns continuously, and that's what burns uh, uh, the, uh, the food in your digestive system, okay? All right? So the furnishings was moved into, the furnishing from the tabernacle was moved into the temple. And why do I say that? Because it says over at 1 Corinthians 6, 19, what? Don't you know that your body is the temple, see, of the Holy Spirit, okay? All right? It says here, the Apostle Paul, speaking of this rope, once again, the Apostle Paul speaking of this rote, for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of Elohim, okay? I want you to be able to see this for the viewers, and also we see this, okay? This is our earthly house or our, or our outer man, see? In the temple, which is this is simply Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. See, that's the true us. That's our inner selves, our inner man. Or this is the temple. Okay. Once again, the Apostle Paul speaking of this rope. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of Elohim. See, the temple and house not made with hands, see, eternal in the heavens, see, we have a, for in our, for in this, our physical tabernacle, we groan earnestly desire to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven, okay? So now, I need you to be able to see this, this, and this here. Okay. This is the glorified state of Yahweh Elohim Yahshua, the glorious temple. See, you see that that and that. Okay. Once again, I'm going to repeat what I just read uh, for the for you for you viewing audience. It says the Apostle Paul speaking of this rope. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of Elohim, the temple, see, and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens, for, it, for in this our physical tabernacle, we groan earnestly desire to be clothed upon with our house, which is from, see, clothed upon, see, the glorious body, see, which is from heaven, okay? 
I need a red reader, please, for the viewers. 2 Corinthians, the 5th chapter, verse 1 and 2, please. 2 Corinthians 5, 1 and 2, from the Holy Name Bible. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of Elohim, a house not made with hands, mm -hmm. eternal in the heavens. Mm -hmm. For in this we groan earnestly, desiring to be clothed upon, upon with the house which is from heaven. Yes, thank you, reader. See? So we desire to be clothed upon, see, from that house which is from heaven, eternal in the heaven, that glorious body. There's only one body in one head, okay? Thank you, reader. It says, and the apostle Peter wrote in this manner, yeah, I think it necessary as long as I am in this tabernacle to stir, to stir you up by putting you in remembrance, knowing that shortly I must put off this my tabernacle, even as our Savior, Yahshua Messiah, has showed me, okay? I need a red reader, please. 2 Peter, the first chapter, verses 13 and 14, please. 2 Peter 1, 13 and 14, from the Holy Name Bible. Yea, I think it's necessary, as long as I am in this tabernacle, to stir you up by putting you in remembrance, knowing that shortly I must put off this my tabernacle, even as our Savior, Yeshua Messiah, has shown me. Thank you, reader. When Yahshua took off his physical body or transfigured in Mount, transfigured in Mount Transfiguration, okay? So I need to zero in, zero in here. See. Once again, see, when Yahshua Messiah took off the sacrificial special paired body, see, that sacrificial special pair of body was placed in Joseph New's tomb and was consumed there, and just simply resurrected back to what was under the sacrificial special pair of body, see, which was and which is, see, Yahweh Elohim Yahshua, okay? And so it says here, this is that, this it says here, transfiguration. Okay. This is the state that Yahweh Elohim Yahshua Messiah is in as of right now. Okay. It, <clears throat> it says when Yahshua took off his physical body, see, or transfigured in Mount Transfiguration. Okay. says, so when we examine Solomon's temple, see, we find that it was built on Mount Moriah, see, and one had to go up into the temple from one part to another. It was a threefold structure just as the tabernacle. So the temple was a threefold structure like the tabernacle. And threefold is, uh, is and was oracle, sanctuary, porch. Just like the tabernacle is a most holy place, holy place, court round about. Three parts, three compartments to the tabernacle, one tabernacle, three compartments to the temple, one temple. Why? Pointing to 
Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. Okay? These three are one. Okay. Three compartments, one temple, three compartments, one tabernacle, Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. These three are one. A unity and not a trinity. Okay? It says, once again, so when we examine, examine Solomon's temple, we find that it was built on Mount Moriah and had, and one had to go up into the temple from one part to another. It was threefold structure, just at the tabernacle, see? Being composed of a porch, see? Once again, like unto the outer court, a sanctuary, see? Like unto the holy place, See, in an oracle, see, like a true, the most holy place. And that will conclude this week's series. Until we meet again next week, I like to leave you with these few words. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the precious kingdom of Yahweh Elohim, Yahshua Messiah. Hallelujah. <laughs>